My one-year-old has three credit cards, the Capital One Quicksilver, City Double Cashback, and the City Custom Cash Card. Now, unless you are extremely credit savvy, then you may not understand how this is possible. I mean, you can't even apply for a credit card until you're 18. So how is it possible that a one-year-old has three credit cards, all of which, by the way, require you to have between a good and excellent credit score to be approved for? Well, it's possible because of a feature that many credit cards offer called authorized user. So what is an authorized user? You may have heard the term before you may have seen the option like within your settings on your credit card login an authorized user is somebody who is on your credit card account who can use your credit the same exact way that you can they even get shipped their own card with their own name on it but ultimately you are still responsible for paying that credit card bill now this may sound like a really bad idea to some people because it's like well why would I give somebody else access to my credit card account just for them to go and spend things that I have to pay for and of course depending on your situation this could be true and it could be a bad idea but for many people it's a really good way to add somebody to your account and have them piggyback off of your good credit habits. And so this, of course, ultimately helps to build up their credit score and their credit history because they're able to take advantage of your good credit habits, which reflect onto their credit history. This is especially helpful for family members who have bad credit. Maybe they were just really bad with their credit in the past. And so you're able to add them as an authorized user to help them kind of get back on their feet to build up their credit score. This is also especially helpful for your children by adding them as an authorized user onto your credit card accounts, as long as you're a responsible credit card user, then you're going to be setting them up for huge success in the future at a very young age. Okay, so what exactly are the advantages of adding your child as an authorized user on your credit card? Well, the biggest and probably the most obvious advantage would be that you're getting them started with their credit journey at a very young age. And of course, that's going to have a massive impact on them in the future. For example, when they turn 18, and it's time for them to go out into the real world and get their own job in their own apartment, by that time, they've already been building up their credit score for a decade plus. And since you've been a responsible credit card user all that time, and they've been able to piggyback off of your good habits, well, they probably have an 800 plus credit score. And so your kids already have a massive advantage by the time they turn 18 compared to their peers and even a lot of adults. If your kid wanted to go get a mortgage or a car loan, they're gonna have access to significantly better interest rates when compared to somebody else who doesn't have as good of a credit score. It'll also give them much better terms and availability on loan products and access to better credit cards. A good credit score can also give you access to things like insurance discounts and more housing options. I'll never forget when I was first getting started in the real world. My wife and I, well, my fiance at the time, my wife now, we were going apartment shopping to get our first apartment together. And we got turned down for several different apartment complexes because we didn't have established credit. And a lot of apartment complexes want to see that you have some type of established credit. And this is true if you're renting an apartment or even if you're renting a house through like a landlord, they want to see that you have some type of established credit because that's going to signify to them that you are a responsible person when it comes to your finances. Therefore, they can trust that you're going to pay the rent on time when it's due. But if you have no established credit, then they have no baseline to measure your credit worthiness to see if you're a responsible person when it comes to your finances. So then when we finally did find an apartment complex that would give us a chance, not only did we have to pay a much higher security deposit, but when it was time to turn on our utilities, like our water and our electricity, the utility company also wanted us to give them a security deposit because we didn't have any established credit and so they had no baseline to check to see if we were actually responsible when it came to our finances and that we would actually pay our utility bill on time and so by adding your kid as an authorized user on your credit card you are giving them that good start that advantage that a lot of kids do not get and you're allowing them to skip past all of those headaches that you and I had to go through because they're just not worth it okay let's briefly talk about age requirements for being an authorized user on certain credit cards because many credit card companies do not have any age requirement at all which is why I was able to add my one-year-old as an authorized user on three of my credit cards but some credit card companies do have certain age restrictions but it just depends on the company so here's a really quick list of credit card companies with their age requirements for for authorized users. American Express, 13 years old. Bank of America, no age requirement. Barclays, 13. Capital One, none. Chase, none. Citibank, none. Discover, 15 years old. And Wells Fargo, none. Now this is not like an all-inclusive list of credit cards and their age requirements. I know that there are some credit cards that I probably missed, but these are just the biggest companies. So I just really wanna briefly talk about when is it not a good idea to add your kid as an authorized user? Because as good of an idea as it is to get your kid started as soon as 
possible. As a responsible parent, as a responsible adult, you don't want to go and add your kid to your credit card if you're not going to be responsible yourself when it comes to using that credit card. Because every single bad decision that you make is going to have a negative impact on your credit score, but also your kid's credit score since they're an authorized user on your credit card. And so it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways, but it's not fair to mess up your kid's credit score before they even have a chance. It's bad enough entering the real world with no established credit, but to enter into the real world with bad credit right off the bat is even worse. And so if you yourself are not a responsible credit card user, then you should not add your kid as an authorized user. It's also worth mentioning that even if you are a responsible credit card user, but something unfortunate happens in your life that changes your financial situation, like maybe you lose a job or something like that, you always have the option to remove your kids as an authorized user on your credit card so that their credit score and their credit history is not affected. You know, I personally plan on doing this for all of my kids, adding them as an authorized user on as many credit cards as I can. They already have a very solid foundation to work off of so that they can be that much more further ahead when compared to their peers. Hey, do me a massive favor, guys. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, but you like content like this and you made it this far into the video, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also drop a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. It means the world to me. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching until the end. And I will see you again as always very soon. Take care. So since we're on the subject of kids, you should probably know from watching the video that I am a father, okay? And because of this, I have officially developed the dad joke muscle. I can now come up with dad jokes on the spot just like that without having to think about it. So I've got a joke for you today, okay? What do sprinters eat before a race? <laughs> they don't. They fast. <laughs>